what's good my lovelies lovely soul empress here coming to do the fire signs may 15th through the 31st we're gonna take a look at what's coming in for you guys what you guys got going on spirit can you show me and the mercury retrograde will be ending the day before that okay but we'll still be in shadow and in addition to that on may 16th jupiter enters taurus okay don't be misled and it says when fear speaks it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests and when love speaks it's always right and it's usually bouncy game on okay so i feel like whether you're hearing something that's external from you or you're hearing something internal from you or internal to you i should say there's a need here to check into where you feel it in your body. Does it ring true to the soul or is it something that you want to hear? Okay. You also are, things are not as they appear in reverse. Okay. And it says, the lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze the universe, right? I feel like there's something that you're observing I feel like somebody's telling you that is not what you see. And I just heard gaslight. And I feel like in some way you want to believe what this person is saying or you want to attribute something to that, but but it's not feeling like it resonates, okay? And do something new, do something different. Ever notice how it's easier to fall in love and be in fallen in love with when you're busy thank goodness i'm you sign the universe there's a thing about sitting around waiting for somebody to understand your perspective or waiting waiting maybe to see what it is like let's say let's say that you're seeing a red flag or several in a connection romantic or otherwise Right? So you're seeing these red flags. This person's telling you they're not red flags. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Just, uh, you know, trust in me. Right? And I feel like, you know, maybe you've done that in the past and it hasn't worked out to the best uh, outcome. And, you know, maybe what you've been doing is trying to wait and see if this time is different. And spirits asking you to check into your body as to where you feel whether that resonates as truthful or not. Okay. So we are going to uh, pull some tarot. And take a look deeper. Right. Because it feels like you could possibly... Be averting your eyes from something. Because there's a, a, a desire for a particular outcome. Spirit, can you show me? You have the fool here, okay? So there's something here about wanting to be in a new beginning, right? But then there's also thing about how are you entering that new beginning? Are you entering in, in fact in knowledge? Or are you entering in with uh, rose colored glasses? Spirit, can you show me what's, what's coming towards my fire signs? The emperor, okay? So there's a, there, I feel like this could be you. This could be you stepping into your power spirit what's falling away with the two of wands okay and that's what's falling away but there was a need for a decision okay and then you have the five of swords here In what you can't see, like some type of uh, manipulation, which would go to the gaslighting. Eight of Swords is the truth of the matter, okay? So 
although you may be stepping into something, there's an anxiety and maybe, you know, my fire signs, y'all know, y'all don't like to, to back down, right? Or, or, um, like your, your personalities are more to stare fear in the face, right? Spirit, can you show me? But that doesn't mean that there isn't fear attached. Spirit, can you show me what? Most likely outcome is the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like you are attaining something that you want. Okay, but the Tower, it does feel like there's something that has to happen first. Okay, something that has to happen first. Spirit, why is this full card here for my fire signs, please? Why is this full card here for my fire signs? Show me. With the death card in reverse, okay? So... Somebody could have offered a new beginning because they didn't want something to end. But understand, okay, like it could also be read as being foolish because something didn't transform. And it's coming out, <clears throat> excuse me, it's coming out with the five of swords, right? So I could say that this person is offering you some type of false reality to manipulate you. But I could also say that there could be some refusal to accept that a transformation is needed so the five of swords could be like self-manipulation like i refuse to give up on this right now you have the emperor here in what is coming in spirit why is this emperor here for my fire signs aries leo and sagittarius please may 15th through the 31st You have here the nine of wands crossed, okay? With the queen of swords crossed. You could be trying to break free from some type of energy. Right? You're going to a new beginning, right? There could be a, uh, let's say that you're not the emperor for a moment. Let's say you're not the emperor. But you could be trying to work with the emperor, like with the nine of wands, not necessarily crossed, okay? Not necessarily trying to resist, but, but in other words, it gets under your craw. Like you try to get along to, to play along, but you can't or... There's something that doesn't meet and it causes a queen of swords cross reaction, which, you know, you come across as very edgy and, and harsh. Right. And it could be because there was a transformation that needed to take place before a new beginning. Let's say that this is a, you know, a, a redo of a relationship or you're going, you're giving your boss one more chance because, the, you know, the, the way that they, they um, maybe run the office is in, in a positive way, right? So you're like, I'm going to give it one more shot. But the way that they do it in a way that is like aggressive could cause you to be triggered. Like you're just like, I don't, I, you know. I'm trying, but I fucking can't, right? But you could be missing the point of the transformation has to happen with you. Like you need to, why why keep believing that this person or this thing will be different, right? So the two of wands is here in the position of what's falling away. One more, please. with the moon and the high priestess coming out crossed, okay? So I feel like with this two of wands here, it's like you make a decision. There's a there's a volcano there. It's about to blow, right? You make a decision that silence maybe it hasn't been your best ally 
or maybe you're trying to bite your tongue but it's like you know and there's some kind of information that is in the background okay so maybe you have information but this also could be like your inner emotion okay fighting like should i say something should i not say something with the eight of wands like should i communicate this two of pentacles really juggling it it's a personal truth right with the four of cups you know but is it important enough to speak on i feel like there's there's something here about you trying to maintain a, you know head towards something new but i feel like as you're trying to head towards something new, it feels like you're heading towards something new that you're trying to rebirth, redo. And it feels like somebody or like, let's say it, it's a totally new you. For instance, you move to another town. Right? Then like six months later, your friend says, hey, I'm moving to the same town you're in. Isn't that great? And you're like, yeah, that is great. Right? And then... Um, but they want to dwell on what it was before and you're trying to like open yourself up to new things. So it's like they they don't want to let the, the past or your past or something go and you could be trying to go towards something new. Okay, you have the five of swords here in the position of what you can't see. Okay, so there goes that manipulation again. Okay, but like I did say, this could be somebody outside of yourself or this could be within like wanting something to work out okay with the nine of cups it feels like you know one more spirit before i say yeah seven of swords okay so um let's say it's really your wish fulfillment so there's a part of you that doesn't want to accept the truth or that prefers to not see the truth okay now, in regards to this person, this person could be, you know, five of swords manipulative, okay? Because they want to get what they want, but they, they're covering, like, what they really feel, okay, with the seven of swords. Like, maybe they don't feel like they're worthy or they're, they, you know, maybe they drink too much. There's nine cups here, but it's like something about themselves that that isn't, that they maybe don't feel... Listen, let me try to say it in another way. If you felt like you were not worthy of love, right? Then you might feel like to get love, you have to use tactics because no one would give it to you freely, right? So that's like the feeling I'm getting off this person. So they could be you know, somehow injured themselves emotionally, but hurt people hurt people, right? Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords here in the position of the truth of the matter. Okay, I just heard LL Cool J, I need love, right? And, and the Eight of Swords is out here with the Ace of Cups and the world, and that's the dilemma. It's like you see something for what it is, but... You would rather not see that because if you see what it is, not only can you can't unsee it, but it's like the realization that you can't change it or, or that yes, yes, I'm stuck in my head because I know it's factual and I know I love this person, you know, family, friend, lover, right? But I also know that something has to end, whether this be a pattern, a relationship, whatever, right? Something is not tangible in the present form that it is, right? To see it for what it is would mean that the situation has to change. And that's the part that makes it hard. Okay? Ace of Wands is out here with the Nine of Cups as the most likely outcome. So the Ace of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune, right? And it could be the passion that keeps situations alive, right? 
the six of cups and it goes back around, right? It's passionate, it's fiery, right? And then, you know, something happens and then it's come back together again with the six of cups, right? It's like you've done this before, could be feel like Groundhog's Day with the nine of cups as the outcome and the three of pentacles, one more spirit with the page of swords crossed. First off, there's a, a, a not focusing on the right thing, right? So it's, it is wish fulfillment with the three of pentacles to collaborate with this person. But uh, the page of swords can mean blocking, but it also could mean focused, right? So let's say you're focused, like one of you could be saying, um, what's a good example? One of you could be saying, you don't make enough money uh, and, and it's falling on me for the finances, right? The other person could be saying, you don't clean the house enough. I'm OCD. That shit drives me crazy right? And it could be that both of you are focused on smaller problems to not look at the bigger problem, which is that you guys argue over petty shit all the fucking time. I'm using this as an example. I don't know your life. It could be over something huge. Okay, but I'm just using an example, right? That it's not about the socks on the floor or the laundry, right? It's about something else. Something else that one of you, if not both of you, for different reasons, does not want to look at. So one person could be because they have to heal a childhood wound and the other person, because if they look at it the way that it is, then it means they have to do something about it. Okay? So uh, let's get a kipper. Show me. False person. Main female. Courtship. And gift with wealthy man at the bottom of the deck we're gonna get another deck to clarify this you got false person out here spirit why with idea one more please and in reverse death right so somebody doesn't want to transform something that makes you feel like they're the not the right person right I also feel like for you to not have to see that the way it is, you kind of have to hide behind some type of facade with this false person. It's like not 100%. It's like playing along to get along or something like you're not being real with yourself, okay? With main female, you see, main female and compromise, you may feel like you are compromising too much now on this card there are three people but i feel like this is not necessarily a third party or i should say like the other thing is like a wound it's like a wound that this person has okay your love is like bad medicine bad medicine is what i need oh, right so what i'm saying is like If somebody needs to get some type of help for some type of trauma and they don't get the help, okay, and then they end up using that trauma in a way that hurts other people, but to not accept that, they try to put it on, project it on other things. And then the person on the receiving end of that could end up projecting like other reasons to attribute to why this person behaves like that. But it's more so, so that they don't have to take action. Okay, so you have here, 
uh, adventure, conflict, and then relaxation. And that is the cycle that the, uh, the uh, Wheel of Fortune was talking about. Right? So it's like, you make my blood come down. Oh, you make my love come down. Make it come all the way down. Right? So what, what it feels like is that there's a, a thing where, like, it's, it's loving and then it's fighting and then it's a breakup to make up. Right? So it's the adrenaline. It's the cycle. It repeats. Rinse, what is it? Rinse, cycle, repeat, right? Vow, right? You could be in a committed relationship with this person, but it's like um, this person could be saying, I'm never going to do that again or something like that, okay? With the gift and fate out here, third wheel, care, blind, protest, luck okay so you have fate here okay something is coming to you in a way to show you like the the real of a situation okay now you have here this uh third wheel care came out crossed Blind, it's like uh, trying to fix something, but it's off because you're like, let's say, you know, you're concentrating on who left the laundry on the floor. So now this person's picking up their laundry, but you still fucking feel mad because you wasn't really mad about the laundry. You understand? Right? Protest, right? Now with this blind and protest, okay? care it's like this could be the image that you want or that you have right this is not seeing the situation for what it is and then this is the protest right so the protest could be like the the balance of how this you think it looks like this but it looks like this right or you want it to be like this Okay, but no matter what you do, you end up in an argument or something. Right? Not recognizing that, it, you know, if you look at these two protesting, one is looking one direction and one is looking the other direction. Right? Like a lack of, of, of communication. Okay, so I feel like, you know, if, if you... If you want a real opportunity at a realization, it feels like to be able to get that, you won't be able to get that through pretending that it's about X, Y, and Z when it's really about A, B, and C. So you're going to have to go back all the way to the root and you may find that it's possible that this person does not share your perspective, but then you're going to have to make the decision because that was the fear that, that it felt like um, you were unsure, okay? Uh, that's what I have for you. And, and do recall that the rest of this month, uh, you know, although Mercury retrograde will have come out, of uh, retrograde, it'll still be in shadow and there'll still be some clearing up, okay? And uh, some clearing up of what you need to see clearly so that you can move forward in the best direction for your situation, all right? So that's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love. And blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang, gang. Bye.